I want to eat, so let's do this. What up, Fraser? How does this work? I don't know what he's done to it. What has he done? Wait a minute. There you go. There you go. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right. So, first, congratulations. You got your you got your boys in the chat. They've been um they've been cheering you on. Like so, just to just to begin with, like, how did you find like just a you know your your run? You had a undefeated run through winners. Did you yeah. find? Did you have any moments where you were like? A little bit worried, or was it just all plain sailing? Yeah, like I felt worried throughout the whole thing, to be honest. Really? That's just the way I work. I felt worried about upsets before I came to the tournament. And, like, specifically against my set against Blood Bowler, uh, went to the last stock in FOD, and I just felt like I wasn't playing my best. Yeah. Yeah, that's sort of. You clutched it out, though. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, you've just got to. Sometimes, I guess, you just, you know, you, you, you can never be on form the whole time. But it's being able to hold out, I guess, in those, like, really. Um, you know, like grueling situations yeah, like I th that. I think a good example of that was when I was against Lee and I was down. Normally, I would just sort of choke that away and then. Yeah, like, like in I'd in in your um set. in your winners final set. Yeah, you swung the momentum back spectacularly, like on uh, on Pokemon. That was really good. Yeah. Like, what actually? What do you think? I mean, Pokemon was definitely a good pick, but what changed? Um, mentality wise. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think what was different because I played Lee last week at Tech Thursday and he bodied me it was like 3-0 but this time I just kept my head in it I think and that's what helped me win because yeah. if I focus like I know I can play well yeah um one other thing I want to ask because one of the things we saw about the top three all at this tournament is from what I'm um I'm you're all grinders right yeah you have depth because you, you've we have built up I think just like <laughs> a bit of a reputation you're definitely a grinder so like, what has been, because obviously you've been, you know, you've been getting results in Scotland, but what have you, what have you been doing just to, like, maintain this sort of consistent improvement? Um, well, recently I've been having sort of a, a realisation, like, uh, where do I want to go with this game? And it's like, I, w I want to be the best, right? So I realised I'm not putting in the work that I need to be putting in. So I've been putting in more work, like, analysing VODs, and uh, practicing like consistently and having a schedule. So that's stuff that I've been working on, but um, I don't know if that's what won me this tournament. I think it was just head being in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I did I did prepare for matches, which I don't normally do, like against uh, Okamida. I watched like SFAT versus Axe and stuff like that to get an idea in the matchup, yeah. That's really interesting because, I mean, the the winner the winner semi set you guys played look a little bit more sketchy but that yeah. was that was pretty dominant that, that, like that was me with confidence that's when i normally play well yeah and i think okamid was tired as well but he was he looked he did he had a very long run yeah. definitely like it wasn't him at his best but when you walked into that because that first i mean yeah you forced stocked him game 1 but what like you were playing with confidence there what what were you thinking really just walking into that set that that grand final set um i was just thinking i had it like yeah, I just had it from the get go, so I could play well. Mm -hmm. um, I did. I did make a download from Winter Semis against Okamid. Like I just knew how he played and what yeah. he was want to go for, so yeah. I could construct a game plan. Yeah. So we're seeing a lot of like, I mean, obviously, you know, this, you've 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 been we've started to like really make a name for yourself. Like you know, you're now on the PR ranking for the first time in the UK. Oh, the second time. The second time. Yeah. Yeah, I was higher last time. Really? <laughs> yeah. F uh, me and Fade have like swapped. Okay. Um well <clears throat> excuse me for that, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um but basically what 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 is your like immediate game plan in just like are you gonna be travelling more? Or uh, I think that's the plan because I, I get like I was saying, I get really worried about upsets and like just like Ooh, look at that money. Oh, is there some Scottish money dollar. in there? Is there some Scottish money in there? Uh yeah. <laughs> look at that. Uh, yeah, Take tra 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 traveling's, traveling's the idea because I want to get in my comfort zone around things, basically. Mm -hmm. Coming to air, I assume. Oh, yeah. That's all booked. Mm -hmm. um, going to Kickstart. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Very I soon. Um, I think I'm teaming with Mint in that as well, so that Ooh. should be pretty hate. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Ireland and the Scotland hidden boss. That sounds very scary. Double Fox. That sounds really scary, actually. Yeah. We've been, we've been practicing on Netplay. Really? Yeah. Oh, you've been playing him on netplay. Yeah, like we've been doing doubles netplay practice. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you do you play a lot of netplay then? Yeah, that, that's where that's where I get a lot of practice from. 
But I, f I feel like it's actually been making me worse recently because of the type of people that you play, because like, the average on that play isn't exactly... Yeah, the, see, this is what I find very interesting when um, I see, like... When people tell me that they've been playing, they've been playing a lot of net play. Sometimes you see people, you know, they say they've been playing a lot of net play, and they're like, "Oh, you've gotten a lot better." But often I can't because, as many times as you see that, you just see posts on like Melee UKs with where people have been idiots. Yeah. And when I played net play, like right at the beginning of my career, of when I started playing uh, Melee, obviously like the net code and like the adapters were worse, then there was more lag. But more yeah. to the point, like I never got as angry playing the game as on net play as on net play see that's the thing like that's what i was like when i first started but like the more i play the more you learn to accept it for what it is and just learn what you can with it i uh -huh. think i think that's what i got from it anyway so you just sort of i guess it you sort of took the took back like this is how i can play under pressure like or just like yeah, if, it, like how to play. overcome playing on tilt because there's nothing that put, puts you on tilt like playing toxic players on net, on net play yeah i don't think it's quite the same but you can learn like things like that mm-hmm so, <clears throat> you said obviously it's it's been like mainly mentality that you've been focusing on. How, when you like when when you um, do you do you feel like the mentality is is more to just the fact that you've been what putting putting in the work and you can just sort of have confidence in the fact that like you've um, is it. Is it just working on like mindset within the game, or do you think that just the fact that you've been grinding more has like has just given you more confidence in uh, your game? Well, I do need to get better like playing the game wise, but I think it's my mentality that holds me back because if I'm playing with confidence, I can think and adapt about the game, and I think like I I can play at a high level, mm -hmm. but uh, it's just you know the mentality that holds me back. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's just take we'll take a couple more from the chat. But honestly, like your performances at the at, at this tournament have been very, very like solid, very like consistent, and that's what you, I guess what you're looking for in moving up. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Like in the immediate future, then obviously your, your ultimate goal is to be the best. Just while we're waiting, but what is say for the end of the year? What is your what was your goal by the end of the year? I haven't really thought that far. No, like, I've not thought about goals like that. Um, just keep just keep just keep improving is is the plan. I think. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Who's your favourite retired player? <laughs> Duck Slayer. <laughs> oh, is he actually retired? Uh, no, <laughs> he thinks he's retired. What? Because he just because yeah, he's a he he's a mad memer. That's why. <laughs> You're a bit. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna be making any more videos soon? <laughs> or uh, meme videos or yeah. legit videos? Meme videos. Meme videos. Uh, if if I've got some quality. Uh, Stuff to work with, then yeah. What? Sauce. 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 Yeah, exactly. Fraser C. Shearer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Like he was waiting. Day will do this as well. It's so cause, it's because when people with funny voices say funny things, it's funny. Yeah, yes, it is. Especially on stream. Fraser Cunningham, two K sixteen. Uh, shall we call it there then? Yeah, I think we'll probably call it there. But dude, amazing work today. Thanks for interviewing. And like, yeah, I'd just keep it up, man. And I'll see you at Kickstart. Yes. <laughs>